The 2021 ESA track season came to an end with athletes stepping onto the podium for their accomplishments. Let's recap some of the event winners, starting with the women's 100-meter hurdles. Taya Mendiola from Simon Sanchez was first at 18.1. Maria Calvo from JFK was second at 18.83. Kiran Abad from Ukudu was third at 19.06. Men's 110-meter hurdles, JFK's Joven Pineda was first at 16.09. Giancarlo Hemerlin from Guam High was second at 17.90. Xander Duenas from Teason High was third at 18.23. Men's long jump, Jalen Thatch from Guam High was first at 5.72 meters. Second place was Trevon Jacobs at 5.61 meters, representing Guam High. Joven Pineda from JFK took third at 5.51 meters. Women's 100 meter race, first place Kaylee Guerrero from Guam High at 14.03. Second place was Megan Shepard from Guam High at 14.25. Third place was Sadie Tamanda from Simon Sanchez at 14.35. Men's 100 meters, was a clean sweep by Guam High. First place, Andre Johnson at 11.7. Aaron Johnson was second at 11.9. Third place was Jalen Thatch at 12 seconds. Let's check in with the Matau who are out in Shanghai for round two of their FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Team Guam is prepared to take on a country with a population of over 1 billion. On Sunday, Guam's underdog mentality will be used as motivation against the host country. We're closer than ever, you know. We're, we've worked way too hard, especially with how hard uh, COVID hit and uh, trainings and matches got taken away. Like, we want this more than ever, you know. We owe it to ourselves because our, our coach also had to leave Carl Dodd and then it's just us. And we, we, we just, we need, we're working hard for each other and... That's all we can do. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to the people of Guam to just play with all our heart. The Matau is set to play in front of a sold-out Shanghai crowd of 30,000 fans. China defeated Guam 7-0 the last time they met in 2019. As an athlete, it's more exciting than anything, you know, to be playing in front of a big crowd, to actually feel the full experience on the pitch. It's always very exciting to step on the pitch for something that's bigger than you are, you know, it's for our island and our our, you know, our own pride back home. So definitely feeling really good about this and um, super stoked to just be a part of it again. This year marks the 15th year of organized drifting competitions on Guam. Big shout out to Upshift ENT for making that possible. Drivers will be kicking off the season for the 2021 Pro-Line Drifting Championships on Sunday at the Guam International Raceway Asphalt Oval Track. Make sure to log on to GuamRaceway.com for start and end times. Current government and DPHSS restrictions will be enforced at the raceway. Admission is free for spectators.